This is a go-kart track. This is a city and this is going to be an awesome circuit. It has been a minute since we've ridden some go-karts in Planet Coaster. So buckle up everybody and get ready to race. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to another episode of Ride Spotlight. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at City Carts created by Shane Turner, one of our Discord moderators and advanced builders, as well as a Diamond Patron. Shane has been a massive supporter on the channel. The biggest supporter so far has been a Ruby and Diamond Patron almost since the very beginning. Thank you for your tremendous support, Shane Turner, as well as thank you for all the help that you do in the community on Discord, helping everybody, answering questions, and always there to support everybody who needs help. Shane is a wonderful person and today we're going to be looking at one of his wonderful creations also want to give an extended shout out to all the other patrons you guys help keep the show going if you want your name added to this list check out the patreon program links are down in the description below and with that shane says hey johnny welcome to city carts this is a go-kart track designed to look like it's part of a mini city it uses ghostbusters studio and vintage dlcs to create an interesting track to drive around in and hopefully avoid crashing amongst the rocks and foliage as well as the buildings this can be used at day or night although more can be seen at day hopefully this creation is enjoyable further details can be found on the workshop page all right so there's the description so let's jump in and get racing okay ladies and gentlemen here we are at the uh, coaster i do want to talk about the queue a little bit i realized after that i set it up a little bit wrong um but i did set the priority pass up correctly and we'll talk about that at the end um but yeah this is uh, a look at the queue here let's get into the station and race some carts. So if we name the city carts into Bollard, you get to actually race. When you hear that little laugh there, that means you can now race the carts. So I'm gonna do my best. It hasn't been, uh, it's been a very long time since I've ridden some go-karts. It's green across the board there. Uh, I think in order to make this competitive, we're gonna jump into the very last car or the last car that gets a seater, a driver. Yeah, so that's not it. We're gonna go to the 18th car. And we're gonna go seat view and we're gonna give this a race oh boy oh boy it's been a minute oh, how, how do i do this all right oh oh ah. off to a very bad start <laughs> okay oh, oh, oh. try to oh boy oh traffic jam okay regain our composure what that's cheating teleporting cars Oof. all right this is uh gonna be fun uh okay we need we need a long stretch here so we can catch up to these guys here we go oh and he cuts me off you son of a Urgh. okay that was our opportunity we missed out because that guy's a jerk oh no when we finally start getting some traction we spin out I do not understand the spin-out mechanics in this game. That's quite okay. We'll make it work. I don't think we'll pass anyone in there. Uh, ooh, this is not good. All right, take it easy. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a two-lapper? Ugh. I don't think we're catching up to the guy in first. There's too much traffic back here. This is uh, not go-karts. This is uh, demolition derby carts. Okay, we can pass him in the middle. Ooh, pass him on the outside. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Right at the... Okay, this that's lap one. I think we're in first. Ah, not anymore. Eee. Nope, nope, nope. I wish we had a, a rear view mirror. Are those guys ahead of me or are they in last place? I think if there was someone in first, we would, uh, that's him. We would, uh, see them. We will, uh, we will know at the end of the lap here. Oh, gosh. Come on. It's gonna skid out. I know it. Uh, okay, just step on it and go straight. We had it first. Okay. Ooh. No! I think the skid out mechanics are random because I was not pushing on the gas very hard there. 
I hear beer, beer, beer. Does that mean someone just finished first? I lost control. Wow. So that we're in third, actually. Let's uh, find out real quick. Someone's on the victory lap. Oh, wow. We were... I think we were really far behind. Unless these guys are in last place. Yeah, they... No, they finished. I think this was our car, right? So two guys pulled in. Well, we could have been passed, but... Yeah, so we got fourth place. Or not. I can't even tell. <laughs> Those guys are quick. <laughs> Wow, that is a fun track. One of the more fun tracks I've uh, raced in a long time. I mean, the whole thing is dedicated uh, to one giant track. Like, normally we see these go-kart... Like, let's let's actually look at my go-karts. It's one giant track. Like, mine was very compact. Oh, mind you, mine was a 2,000-part limit. At the time, Planet Coaster had a 2K um, blueprint limit. So my... My track was uh, like a quarter of the size of this. I mean, we can find out for sure, but this track was a thousand meters. Mine was half that. Yeah, so that's one big track. I, like I said, I think go-karts are usually more compact and this had a lot of length to it. Uh, let's talk about it because Shane is um, trying to improve at Planet Coaster and we want to give a chance to give him feedback. He previously submitted go-karts, I think last year, and these were his go-karts from last year. And we gave some feedback and talked about some of the um, the design choices that he went into building this and we can definitely see an improvement here a, a massive improvement i don't think the uh i didn't i said that i don't think the fences around the outside were necessary because you're going to theme that into your park anyways he removed that and uh instead replaced it with more details on the inside added some fountains added some rock work added some bushes um elaborated on the building designs a lot more and it's looking a lot better it's actually really nice and then the actual track itself has a lot of crossover elements cross under elements and uh using all the different pieces that the the, the go-karts give you it's very hard to make an interesting go-kart track unless you go for elevation which we do see that here with the crossover and uh you know using the little uh the tiny the, the the narrow pieces with mixed in with the long pieces and then the little dodgy things um it, it felt like a competitive track at least for what i was playing so i think the the circuit layout's really good with when you talk about it being in a city like this and the backdrop and all the buildings here it's looking nice um the queue i did struggle with because there was no guide when you first place it down um i can show you guys here if we go place a new one i was struggling because I said I said okay the entrance is this way and that's the exit obviously so I had to find myself the entrance and when you do these you work backwards right so you gotta have to like do reverse thinking when you build your queues like how is somebody gonna do this when they're building it and I was like do I go right or do I go left and then I'm like well what's over there and I'm like oh there's nothing over there so I'm like oh it obviously goes this way so when you get over here and you start pathing it over it says normal this way priority this way and then I was like what but where do I go am I supposed to run this as a bridge up top and then as I was taking some camera shots I noticed this slot here and I thought, oh, now it makes sense. So you run the priority this way all the way around. And then you get it past here, through there, up to here. And you got to somehow wedge it through here, over top and down there. It's just a little bit janky because it's not straight, if that makes sense. You have to kind of go up and then over and then in. It's not a straight bridge. If you're going to do a bridge, you should try to keep it straight. So this building right here is sort of getting in the way of that being possible because this would be the straight bridge, if that makes sense. Or you would have to go up and over that building, um, but then it might look a little strange. So now it makes sense. You run the queue this way all the way around and then the priority janks out to the side here and then it connects all in. But we managed to figure it out. We made it work. And basically I just built the priority pass. I skipped the normal and everybody gets priority and that's how I set it up. Um, well, I guess my feedback to Shane there would be just provide some arrows. You could, I mean, what's your part count at? Did you have amount enough? Yeah, you had enough to build some arrows. With that said, you only use 2,600 pieces. So you could definitely go a little bit more ham. Um, there's like flags and things. You could put flags all around this and little tires. There's a lot of like go-kart pieces in the game that they came with like a little go-kart pack when they came out with the go-karts, little tires and, you know, racing flags, things like that. You could put them all around, um, just little decorations. Like even here, when it janks out to the side, goes inward, you could build like a little garden here, uh, maybe like a first, second, third place stand with them all holding their trophies, like little animatronics or something. Uh, yeah, just little things like that. You can, you have 1400 pieces to work with here. And that would be my feedback is if you're gonna make a 4K blueprint, try to push it to 4K. What can I add? Now, if you get to a point where you just feel like you're adding and it's not adding anything making more noise that's not necessary then i would say stop 
but there is a lack of the little go-kart theming throughout the little flags and stuff. I think it's a huge improvement from what you did before. And you had it here, like little signs, turning signs. And I think you forgot to do that this time. So you don't need walls to make the turning signs. You can make them standing on posts, right? So, you know, those little things. Yeah, like that. Throw those some about some tires and 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 flags. Boom. Yeah. But ma massive improvement from Shane Turner. He's trying to improve at the game, and I think you are. So this is a good sign. Shout out to Shane Turner. Thank you again for your tremendous support. What did you guys think of his go karts? And uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now. <laughs>